Five brush fires. They've sparked across southern New England, including a significant one in Dighton, where firefighters are still putting out hot spots. Eyewitness News was taken to the heart of that extensive brush fire today by firefighters, seeing firsthand just how crews are working to prevent these small fires from rekindling and spreading. Although temperatures have dropped and there is no red flag warning, we've learned we're not in the clear just yet, and severe drought conditions aren't helping. Eyewitness News has live pinpoint weather team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist. Meteorologist Tony Petraka is tracking the latest conditions. Pete Mangione has details about how serious the state is taking the drought conditions. But first, let's go to Sean Daly, live in Dighton with the latest and how crews are dealing with the brush fires. Yes, yeah, Susan and Mike, we're here in Dighton where we took a ride in an ATV to see what firefighters did to contain a brush fire that started yesterday afternoon and burned about 50 acres. What's the biggest challenge, Chief? Uh, the biggest challenge right now is just to get the apparatus and the manpower in here to make sure everything's mopped up and wet down and uh, so we don't have any more flare-ups as, uh, as the week progresses with any more wind because we don't, uh, there's no rain in sight. Um, this one here is actually pretty low, so they can probably hit it with the hoses, but we're seeing some of this uh, 30 to 40 feet up in these trees. And uh, the higher they get, the more susceptible they are to catching winds, if that makes sense. So when sense. they're high up like that, you're, you're chainsawing and knocking them to down. get that tree down so that you can get at that. Uh -huh. and, and wet it down, yes. What the idea is to make sure that this road stops the fire from spreading and the fire is contained on the inside and everything on the outside of the road that's correct. doesn't burn. Doesn't burn again, right. We don't want any, any of the embers uh, blowing across and getting it onto the uh, unburnt side. So you can see this, this place is littered with uh, dead vegetation and it, what, it, what that does, it makes access in here very difficult, um, which is why we had the heavy equipment, the dozer, a bulldozer and an excavator in here establishing this fire line. So you had challenges galore. Oh yeah, this is very challenging fire. Luckily, two firefighters suffered only minor injuries in two days of fighting this fire, and no homes in the area caught fire. But we did catch up with one homeowner who was worried there for a bit. She's new at six. Live in Dighton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.